let not your heart be troubled. He that believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it was not so, I have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go, I will come again and receive you and to my self. To God be the glory. Praise God. We stand in praise and worship to you. Bless the Lord. This is a day that the Lord had made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. In spite of why we are here this morning, God deserves the praise and the glory in everything. Amen? Amen. And I just want you to know that God promised to comfort us no matter what we are going through. He promises that He will never leave us and He will never forsake us. So family, this morning, be comforted knowing that God is with you always. Amen. Bless the Lord. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives.
blessed Father and all, we will understand it all by and by. Amen. Amen. God is worthy to be praised. At this time, Ella Khan is coming to the open prayer. Hallelujah. Let us pray. The God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, Daniel's God, we come to you right now. You said death is a mystery, and that's why we cannot understand it. Right now, Father, come and tabernacle with us as we come in this funeral service, mighty God. Come and sit at the head, mighty God. Come and take over from us this morning. Let whatever we do here this morning bring glory and honor to your name. And Father, those who are here this morning are not saved. Hallelujah. I pray, God, that the message that is coming, it will push somewhere in their heart that they will have another look at you, Father God. Because you are God who sit high and look low. Heavenly Father, go through this service another time and do what we cannot do for ourselves. Only you alone, Lord. And we give you all the praise, the glory, and the honor in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. We will first lesson will come from 1 Corinthians 15, verse 51 to 58, which will be read by Deja Neil and Zane, granddaughters. Then we have tributes. Tribute one, Yashin, Yashika and Yashana daughters, and then we have two opening tribute remembrance by Shakira, daughter. I'm going to ask you to come in that order. So first lesson, then tributes, and then remembrance. Our first lesson is taken from 1 Corinthians 15, verses 51 to 58. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised, incorruptibly, and we shall be changed. For this trumpet shall put on incorruption, and this mortal shall put on immortality. So when this trumpet shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written. Death is swallowed upon in O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? For the sin is the stream that results in death, and the law gives sin its power. But thanks be to God, which given us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. So, my dear brothers and sisters, be strong and immovable. Always work enthusiastically for the Lord, for you know that nothing can change the Lord. Here in this a portion of God's holy word, we have it by sin and the sins of the Lord. Kind to his children, but also any child he came across. 
I remember my dad picking me up from school just to take me to run trips with him to Mount Peace and Clifton. Sometimes other taxis would be there, but the moment he dropped me, everyone rushes into the bus. I remember someone once saying, Why, Henry, drive out the bus. The bus can't take no more. I was ready at six years old to defend my daddy by saying, No, call me daddy, no boy. Daddy burst out laughing and said to him, Where did that come from? There were times when people would just walk out of his bus without paying. And I would tell him the person didn't pay. All he would say, it's okay, Yash. One day I had to say to him, Daddy, you are going to take too long for rich, because every day people shot me of fear are not pay you. And he burst out laughing and said, All right, my pretty daughter. From now on, call it all you fear them. And so I did. I was the conductor for the rest of the day, but yet still, I didn't want to collect from elderly because I was just like him. My dad was a very passionate person. It was like he couldn't say no, as long as it was in his power to do something, if you asked him. Even after losing his legs, he would still be given to persons with no legs. I never understood his reason for doing this because to me they were in a much better position than until he told me said this so I then came here with two legs and the car and me and to receive one man of a no good. I was blessed to have spent his last birthday with him on September 17th. He requested pizza and papas for his birthday, so I got him just that. I woke up, shaved him, and we ate until we were all full. Even though his hand was swollen and hurt a bit, he had fun and lots of laughs. Eddie, you will always be a part of him. To let you share what's passed up to you. Daddy, you will always be with me. Your kindness lives within me. Daddy, you will never be forgotten. I will walk with the compassion you show and keep exercising as I do. We love you, Daddy. <laughs> Shakira. Henry Willis, our father, affectionately known to us and his children as Head Daddy, or to his long life friends as Boto or Henry was a very jovial man. He never ceased to make us laugh with his jokes and his nicknames that were given to all of us, his children. As a child, I can remember that we were always eager to see him because he would take us to Clifton on his way, dropping off his passenger, picking up. Going to school in the mornings, no matter the number of persons in the vehicle, he would say, on a lap up, I want to squeeze up, make sure on the wall. He was never a bus driver who was mean. He was a bus driver who plied the route of Lucy to Clifton and was known and loved by everyone. He had a love for his vehicle, the ladies, and as he called it, the good old rum. After losing one leg, that did not dampen his spirit. He still remained his jovial self. He lost a second leg and nothing changed. When he got sick recently and was in the hospital, we had a brief last conversation. He said, I wonder what they're going to do to my hand. 
Little did I know that was my last conversation with him before being transferred. A few days after his run, he was transferred, a nurse came to me and said, I met your father the day he was admitted. And he said, your father is very proud of you and your siblings. And he threatened about you guys. He's very sorry you guys never got along during the last period of his life. But all he wanted to say was that he loved you guys and he is very proud. Never knowing that he was that ill, I said to her, he must be thinking God did. A few days later, I received a call from my sisters. She said he was unresponsive. I told them, go and see and update me. The next morning, approximately 4.30 in the morning, I received the dreadful call that no one wanted to hear. But today, I want to say on behalf of all my siblings, we will miss you and we will forever love you, Daddy. Hallelujah. Today, our second lesson will be taken from Psalms 90, verse 1 to 10. Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the martyrs were brought forth, or ever thou hadst brought the earth and the world. Even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Thou turnest man to destruction and sayest, Return ye, children of men. For a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday when it is past, and as a watch in the morning. Thou carriest them away as with a flood, they are as asleep. In the morning they are like grass which groweth up. In the morning it flourisheth and groweth up. In the evening it is cut down and withereth. For we are consumed by thine anger, and by thy wrath are we troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins in the light of thy conscience. For all our days are passed away in thy wrath. We spend our years as a tale that is told. The days of our years are threescore years and ten. And if by reason of strength they, are, they be for score years, yet is their strength, labor, and sorrow, for it is soon as cut off and we fall away. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to the Lord. Thanks be to the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. We have two open tribute here. Is there anyone for open tribute? Good morning, church. Good morning. Henry, Willis, Sucky. May Henry go to get a like brother. I remember when I'm leaving Mount this year, go to ask him by my granduncle. It's a joy to see Henry. May Henry always take the coconut over, get the right bread food, and put on them to eat it. And we say, we're going down the gully, we look on. With a joy for me and Willis. Many times call Willis. Willis always, but oh, quarry, why are you not easy? Why oh, you take so long to call me, man? That's, and you come like brother to me. I don't believe me and my brother them close like Andrew. When Andrew buy a bus, he will call me and say, quarry, why me buy a bus and I go and pray? Me and him will drive out. If any of the water, I ask him, and me and Henry. And the band one me and Henry have, we just, we just have part a day of birthday. The 16 is my birthday, the 17 is Henry. So we have a close, close band. When Henry went to hospital and the first foot cut off, he called me and he said, Quarry, Boy, when I'm a foot gone, you know, what may I go do? And he said, boy, I'm a thing I have to do, you know, trust God. Trust God with this. And he said, boy, I told him, you know, they never tell me nothing about it. 
when any birthday I'm trying to call any farm. We always call one another and birthday. And I try to call him and don't get him. For the problem what's happening. Who was planning that day to go? But what you can tell you is that death is a must. We have to prepare for death. Yeah, but I didn't know that end of the time, so soon. So when I get him the Monday, he said, Go and go and in the hospital. Then. When you, you choose them, and he was talking, and then he said, Go and 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 and we visit each other for you know we have a band but sorry to say to the back to the village family condolence from the choir family the space family you know our condolence and release you know there is in peace you know for he's a brother believe in god but i hope we meet over by the other side thank you very much Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I stand here as the open tribute, and I just want to say, on behalf of the community of Epping, where Yashi, Yashana, and Anastasia live. I can remember vividly well when Yashim was going to school. She was on the morning ship at Green Island. My son has to be in Merlin Atty. So they would link each other and said, anytime you're on the morning ship and going out, remember to call me. And if Henry is taking out Yashim to Lucy to catch a drive, he won't leave Lamar. When we are up on the road going down, Henry won't pass us, neither down nor up. And this afternoon, it's with great privilege I stand here paying a tribute on behalf of his kindness to us and the people who live in the community of Epping and surrounding. In this life, my trials are many.
make it after all. It's the grace of God when we are here today. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. God is worthy to give praise. Turn to your program again. We're going to bless the Lord with an offering while we sing the hymn.
answered Jesus, hold my hand. When you hold your hand, it is well of the Because at times, if we hold to the master's hand, and when things get difficult, we're going to let go. But when you hold our hand, then we know that no matter what strong clouds may rock the ship of mine, I will find rest. At this time, Deacon is going to bless the offering. Let us stand. Let us pray. Most righteous and heavenly Father, this morning, oh Lord, we come in this fashion, Daddy Jesus. Lord, Help the weary family at this time. Comfort the heart of them, Daddy Jesus. It's not an easy thing to lose a loved one. But you promise us, Lord, never to leave us nor forsake us. Lord, this morning as we bring your offering to you, that your people has bring back to you this morning, oh God. Lord God, bless it in a special way. Bless the hands that give this morning. And bless the hands who didn't have to give. Lord God, that in due time they will do. Lord God, comfort the people this morning, oh God. Even the children this morning that mourn, oh God. Lord God, bless them and keep them. Guide them, shelter them, provide for them, oh God, at this time. Lord God, as we give you thanks, we give you praise, we honor you because you are God and God alone this morning. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are still alive. Amen. And for that we have much to give thanks for. That's our biggest blessing. Life. Because this morning, with many of you eyes flicker and open, many eyes close forever. Amen. So we have much to give God thanks for. Because this morning, about after five, while I was at work, and we heard that there was an accident, we have casualty coming in, and we were preparing, getting ready for the accident victim to come in. When they came, you realize, I was like, where's the accident? Because I don't see any bruises, any cut, nothing. They said, one person died at the scene. But they said, if you see the vehicle, you would assume that every person in those two cars died. And I turned and I said, God still have purpose for those persons that survived. Yeah. So today, God still have a purpose for each and every one of you. Yeah. That's the reason why you are here. In spite of the fact that you are mourning, you still have to give God thanks. Look what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. He healed my body. He touched my mind. He saved me just in time. I'm going to praise his name. He saved me just the same. I'm going to praise him. I'm going to praise him. I look what the Lord has done.
God is worthy to be praised. At this time, Pastor Bernard will be coming with the message. And I know that there is a word for each and every one of us. So let us listen and apply it to our heart. Pastor Bernard. Yes, the Lord in my soul and all that within me. Bless his holy name. Good afternoon to each and every one. Praise God, my condolence to the family. Glory be to God. I know how it feel to lose a loved one. Praise God. I have a father who died, two sisters, and a son. So I know how it feel. But I listen to all the good things that are said about Henry. Praise God. And in all of them I hear Brother Quarry. Glory to God that Brother Quarry said that Henry has a relationship with God. And that is the best. Amen. Glory to God. Because when we leave this earth, it is not over. It just begun. Amen. One songwriter said, You better make right with God. Amen. Come and do it now. Glory be to God. And next songwriter said, While the blood running warm in your veins. There is no repentance, no baptism in the grave. The better seek salvation. Glory to God. I hear the word of God declare that today, if you hear my voice, I not your heart. Glory to God. This afternoon, I cannot speak to Henry. Hallelujah. But I can speak. And I would say to us, because when the word of God is speaking, I speak out a special people. It is speaking to us. That's why Apostle Paul said, I'm afraid to preach in others. And I myself be a castaway. Glory be to God, because if you preach like Paul at the end of the day, the hear the part. I know you're not. That's why the Apostle Paul said, I, I die a daily death. That means every day, every minute, Paul was on his knee praying and asked God for forgiveness. Because the word of God declared that we sin in our action, with thoughts, and with it. Glory to God. So this afternoon, I want to share with us from the, the book of Mark, St. Mark chapter 5. And I will share a few verses there. And the word of God declared that they came over onto the other side of the gatherings. Glory to God. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately they met him out of the tomb. A man with an unclean spirit, who had his belly among the tomb. And no man could bind him, no, not with chain. Because that he had been often to bind with fetters and chain, and the chain had been broken by him, and the fetters broken in pieces. Neither could anyone take him. Also, night and day he was in the mountain and in the tomb, crying and cutting himself with stone. But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him and cried with a loud voice, saying, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou son of the most high God? I adore thee by God, that thou tormented me not. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. Glory to God. And he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, Say, My name is Legions, for we are many. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, loving God, I magnify you. I worship you, Father. For there is none like you, and there is none to compare unto you. You are God completely all by yourself. And loving God, as I stand before you even now, and ask you, Father, to hide me behind the cross. Let me see no man but Jesus. Touch these lips and quit them with the power of the Holy Ghost. I pray, Almighty God, that self will be crucified. Lord, I pray that self will not show up today, but your Holy Spirit will be shown up. Lord, I pray, Almighty God, for the unsaved in this house, that show your word that is quick and powerful and sharper than any torches sword. Almighty oh, God, I pray that someone will be saved today by your word. I pray that the backslider will return because of your word. Because, Father, you are no, you are no mighty God. You are known the heart of your people. Father, we bless you and we give you thanks. In Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to God. The word of God declared that this man was in the tomb. Night and day. Glory to God. Because he was possessed with an unclean spirit. Sad to say this afternoon, if we don't have the spirit of God manifesting us, the spirit of the devil in us. Because there is no new child ground. Glory to God. So no man cannot say, hey, I'm not a Christian. Neither am I on the devil's side. If you are not a child of God, you are a child of the devil. And I say that without apology, according to the word of God. Glory to God. Hallelujah.
light of the church of Gibeon. And then Father God, he the food that no no have everybody start to be. God is connected to the source. For glory to God. Let them know they got the sir. You don't fear no foe. Hallelujah. You don't care what men want to do. Because you know the God you serve. When you're connected to the source, you don't have to worry yourself that I'm taking someone this afternoon. If you try everything and you fear, try Jesus. For glory be to God. Hallelujah. Try Jesus. My God, I hear the book of St. Matthew 11 say, Come unto me. All he that every later. your hand in mine. And I start to pray and the Holy Spirit come down the place. Yes. And I cancel that accident in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I rebuke that accident and I pray for her. And after church I leave what I'm, before I reach a Dalvin call. A sister called me and said, Pastor, the lady was to just pray for her. Yes, she tried. She tried. And as she reached, going to Oprah High School, her front tire blowed. Glory to God. But God saved her, not me. God. 
Henry Willis Sr., 56 years of age, passed away on Friday, September 29, 2023 at the Cornwall Regional Hospital. Henry Sr. was born September 17, 1967 in the district of Askinish, to Askinish and Hover, to mother, the late Linnell Young, and father, the late Claudius Willis. He was the eldest of four siblings. Henry started his education at the Askinish Basic School, and then he moved on to the Askinish All Age, where he completed his secondary education. After completing his secondary education, he attended the high school in Sand Bay to study auto mechanic, which he had a passion for. After completing this course, he started working in his specialized field at the then Jack Freighter Garage for a number of years. After leaving garage work behind, he started doing taxi operation for more than a decade until he met a tragic but not fatal accident on the 15th of January 2010. Having much time on his hands and his passion for auto mechanic, drove him to buy a bus which he fixed and had the final touches to all by himself. He was so excited to get behind the wheel once more. However, his excitement was short-lived after, after his health deteriorated and he lost his right leg in 2017. A year and a half later, he lost his left leg. That, however, that still did not deter his spirit because he still bought another vehicle to fix the his liking. However, he did not get a chance to complete this project because of, because of an injured finger that caused him to be admitted in the hospital on his birthday. And he took his last breath 12 days later. Henry leaves to cherish his memory, his 10 children, Henry Jr., Shakira, Jodian, Shanice, Sheon, O'Brien, Ricardo, Yashim, Anastasia, and Yashana, along with his 12 grandchildren, a host of other relatives and friends.
God, when you come back, mighty God. We pray that you just cover them under your blood. That Jesus have your own sweet way in their lives, mighty God. And Lord, help them to Lord look to you because their help comes from you. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us this afternoon as we say thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. God is worthy to be praised. And as we are about to take Mr. Willis today, his burial ground, I am going to ask that you be patient and uh, the pastor and his team will go first, the casket follow, and then you follow after. Amen? Amen. Please let us cooperate and turn to your program as we sing the recessional hymn. Hallelujah. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Sing his mercy and his grace. In the mansions bright and blessed, prepare for us a place. And we all get to
Ashes to ashes, dust to dust.
Praise God, when the glory of the Lord 